Okay, so, hey everybody. I finally remembered this weekend. Um, you're welcome. I know you're definitely missing me last weekend for sure. I had some like clips from last week that I was gonna put together, but then it just was too much for me. So I decided to not do that, but I'm here now, so. What more could you ask for? Um, right now, I'm currently going to be making the toppings for my sweet potato. Um, hola, Padre. Como estas? I stopped for a moment because my dad came in and that's embarrassing. He's in the garage now, but awkward, awkward. Okay, so I am going to be making my toppings for my sweet potato right now. But today, this video is gonna be like what I do in like an unusual weekend because I have a volleyball tournament this weekend with my high school team, which is very different than a regular tournament. So I get to leave school early today and we're going all the way to Winter Haven. I don't really know where that is, but I'm still checking if my dad's coming in because I really don't want him to see me doing this, but. <clears throat> and it's 729, meaning that Eileen should be calling me and at exactly one minute because she calls me as soon as her alarm goes off. And there's my father. Hi, Dad. There's the beautiful Eileen. <laughs> you look so done. But I started this because look at that beautiful breakfast. I'm basically a chef. What up, what up? And my morning seems to be going a lot better than I lose. Look at her stupid little dumb face. What a cutie. Okay. <laughs> hey guys. Okay. So, it is now like... It's 11.40. My dogs are here. They're being very annoying. Push. Okay. What was I saying? Dude, I have two bug bites over here and I'm scratching them so much. Do you see how big they are? Oh my god, that looks disgusting. That's gonna make me cry. Oh my god, also... <laughs> last night... Ow! Why did you scratch me? No, for no reason. No reason. That's why. Look at his guilty little face. Whatever. And Chappie's over here just being cute. Just sitting there. Like a cute dog should. Okay. Whatever. What was I saying? Right. Last night. <laughs> last night. I was going. I was getting ready for bed, I think. And I. Right. Because I was putting. Cause I still have a nightlight. I, it's comfort. It, it brings me comfort. It makes me feel comfy. So don't judge me. So last night I went to put my nightlight in, and when I was getting up, I hit my head on my my cupboard, and I got a big bruise. Do you guys see this hole right? Here? There's a scab there from it, and then everywhere around it is a bruise. I think you can kind of see how it's a little bit more purple than the rest. So now I have a big bruise on my forehead and two bug bites that are gigantic on my cheek. I look insane. I look idiotic. I, I've had to ice my knees, both of them, every single night before I go to sleep. Every single night for like two weeks I've been doing it and it still hurts. It's not as bad as before, but it still hurts. I also have a bug bite on my knee. Why do I have bug bites everywhere? Oh, in the morning I work out and the garage is open so bugs do come in. What am I supposed to wear? Bug spray when I work out? Jesus. Whatever. Okay. What did I say? Okay. So, since last time I talked to you guys, I've actually done quite a lot. I, um, I ate my bagel and omelet. Very, very good. My mom went to Fresh. Stop making so much noise. I'm trying to make a YouTube video here. Guys. Cool. So, I ate my I ate my omelet and my bagel. Very, very good. And my mom went to um because she works in Tampa, so her work co-workers, there's a place called Fresh Kitchen. I think it's Fresh Kitchen in Tampa. And it's like healthy, like fast food basically, kinda. Not fast food. It's like a healthy chipotle, but like healthier. You know? And they have this thing called coconut sriracha. Oh, so good. I put that on my omelet and all my stuff like that. So I ate that. 
And then I decided to make my um, meal for later because I don't eat team meal because team meal is usually really gross and heavy. I make myself my own meal so that well before we go before we before we go play I can have food while they're having team meal because I, I will get very jealous if people are having food and I'm not. So I made Cajun pasta. Mm -hmm. Yes, Cajun pasta with shrimp, broccoli, squash, and spinach. And it looks very good. And I stirred in a, some Parmesan to make it cheesy. And then I packed a snack of cucumbers, carrots, and um, Cheez-Its. <clears throat> and then I have a protein bar for later, just in case I get a little bit more hungry. These, I'm, I really want to scratch it, but they look so bad right now. I can't scratch it anymore or else I probably will scratch my face off. Um, what else have I done? I packed my bag for the weekend. Um, I haven't even told you guys what's going on this weekend. Okay, so as you guys know, I've been talking about this since this morning. I am going to a tournament this weekend. So I get to leave class after sixth period and I have to go straight to Newsome because we're taking a bus to um, Winter Haven, which is like an hour away or something like that. And... Yeah, we get to play three games today. We're gonna do good, hopefully. But you know what? Our main setter, like our first string setter, her name is Charlotte, I'm just gonna call her Charlotte. She was quarantined for two weeks because somebody in her class had it. There are 10 cases at Newsom, 10 cases. And it's rising because of the stupid football team and that one guy that decided to keep on going to school, even though he had it and he knew he had it. So he spread it to like 10 people, probably more, but people are still going probably because they don't understand the severity of a pandemic. So now our main center's quarantined because she was in the class of somebody like that. So now Sydney, Janai, is our setter. And she's gotten, she's she has really good hands. So she's gotten a lot better at setting. So I think it'll be fine, but obviously it would be better if we had our first drink setter, but that's okay. Um, so Sydney's gonna be our main setter this weekend. Um, this season I've been doing pretty good. I might, I might add, if I might add, I've been doing pretty good. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> and so, right. So we're doing a tournament this weekend from Friday to Saturday. And then once our tournament ends on Saturday, do you want to move? Thank you very much. Once our tournament ends on Saturday, we are going to, um, go up to Tallahassee to see my brother. And that's very, very exciting. So I've packed all my clothes for that, all my volleyball bag. I'm gonna pack as soon as my school ends today. I'm gonna pack, get out of my way. Why are you both here? Literally leave, I'm trying to do something. Why are you both just surrounding me like a bunch of sharks? What is happening? I get it, I'm awesome, leave me alone. What is this obsessive behavior? Oh my God, like, I am Jesus Christ. And he's back just on the other side. Okay. Where even was I? I don't even know. All y'all know it. All you guys gotta know is I packed all my stuff and now I'm here sitting waiting for my fifth period to start. Because it's currently eleven forty seven and fifth period starts at twelve oh six. So I've got quite some bit of time. And both my dogs are being super annoying. What is up? Can you not back off just a little bit? Whatever. Okay, I'm just gonna talk to you guys later. I get off of me. Okay. Hey guys. Say hi to the Asians. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> the phone fell. Okay. We just rushed out the door because. Oh my god. You know what? I'm just gonna hold it. Whatever. We just rushed out the door because I'm late to the bus because we have to take the bus to Winter Haven. And I have to be there by 1.50, and it is currently 1.46. And Newsom usually takes like 10 minutes to get to, but that's with traffic. So hopefully, with no traffic, we will get there in five minutes. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I don't think so. And she doesn't think so. <laughs> You're supposed to say yes. You're supposed to say yes, Michelle. That is correct. But that's not how I like to lie. Shut she lies all the time. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, oh, and there is a lot of cars. Just our luck, just our luck. I couldn't find, they want us to wear the Newsome mask to the thingy, and I couldn't find it. So that cost us like three minutes, but it was in my bag the whole time. Oh, yeah, Michelle. Usually, Michelle does that. 
<laughs> what is why are you so mean to me? <laughs> okay. Say bye bye. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> you do it, you do it. <laughs> basically nothing this weekend because I was busy doing my tournament but we won almost all our games except for one and I did pretty well got a lot of aces got a lot of passes pretty good pretty good um I was really pissed off on the last day though because they kept on saying that oh our passes are off our passes are off and when they say the passes are off that means me, because I'm the libero. My main job is passing. That's all I do. I only do passing. I'm the passer. So, like, what do you mean the passes are off? My passes are perfect. Thank you very much. Maybe it's just you should keep the ball in the court. That's your job, isn't it? So, like, why is that my problem when we lose the point? I don't see the connection there. I don't see it. But let's move on. Let's move on. Um... <laughs> Our volleyball tournament ended. We went up to Tallahassee and I saw my brother. I didn't film any of it, but it was really fun. We got there late because it was four hours, a four hour drive. Yeah, you're welcome, Claudio. I watched Haikyuu on the way up there. Thank you to all my friends that are making me watch anime. It's actually a good show. It makes me feel really um, cool about my volleyball abilities. So thank you to Noishi, Noishi Noya. I don't really, I don't really know their names yet, but I know Noya is a libero and that's me. So I relate, thank you. Um, yeah, so we went to Tallahassee, we met Claudia's friends, hung out with my cousin who's there also, had Peruvian food and stuff like that. Very, very delicious, very good time. Missed my brother, loved it. And then we drove four hours back here and now I'm here Finishing homework that I've put off all weekend because I didn't want to experience that. So, I just wanted to close that off and explain what I did this weekend because I w it was supposed to be like a weekend vlog kind of thingy, but I didn't film anything because like, what am I supposed to do to take out my camera and like film my friends? That's weird. I'm not gonna, I'm not doing that. Sorry guys, sorry. I'm not at that level yet. Maybe I'll get there one day. Hope and pray, hope and pray. Ugh. Also, today was really awkward. Well, that reminds me of this one conversation of like, my cousin was like bringing it up, like how she was going to church or something like that. And my, mo and my mom was like, Claudia. And my brother was like, yeah, a lot of my friends aren't even still Catholic. And my mom was like, but you're still Catholic. And my brother was like, no. <laughs> but he was like, but I'm Christian though. And my mom was like, Okay, I guess that's fine. That was so awkward. Like, why did we have to bring that up? That was so awkward. With his friends there, too. Moving on, moving on. Okay. Um, I think that's it. My dog, yeah. My dog's still on our back home because we still have them at the vet because we just got back home. And it's 9.30. And I'm going to go to sleep in like half an hour. Actually, I have an AP Lang project I have to do. So, maybe I'm not going to go to sleep in half an hour. Dang. Um, I have to edit this still. I haven't edited a single thing. So, this might be a very late upload. Um, sorry about that. I'm, I got priorities. I got priorities, okay? I have volleyball and I got school. Those two come before, no, nothing comes before the Asians. I mean, oh. Nothing comes before Pangea, politically correct. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Please don't cancel me, please don't cancel me. Okay, um, I'm gonna go now. Goodbye.